Now, I like the history, and one thing I want to go over briefly is the history of epigenetic research, and this is from my perspective now. I got into this field in the early 90s, and what I have here is plotted publications, total publications, as a function of time, year, <clears throat> and on a linear uh, graph. So what I did for this is I wanted to show that Basically, up until around the year 2000, there's an inflection point right around 2005, right in here, where it looks like basically nothing really is happening much in the field of epigenetics, to the point where it's actually going vertical and a lot is happening in the field of epigenetics. Now, if you plot this rather than on linear paper, semi-log paper, what you will find is that what I'm showing is an exponential growth curve for publications in the field of epigenetics. And that in the scientific community, there's a doubling of the epigenetics papers every one and a half to two years. Last year alone, we put into publication somewhere between 15 and 20,000 papers, which took us 15 years from 1990 to 2005. 